Hey everybody, Mr. Berg here, and I'm making a comic book page using Sketch.io. I've made a very rough draft and a list of some things that I want to include so I can try to stay on track. This is going to be an underwater comic that has, it's just made of two like wide rectangles. Underwater. Pretty cool. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. I'm going to have a white background. I'm going to make use of uh, rectangles. Now, look at this. For the fill of the rectangle, that means what color is it filled with? You could choose a simple color like blue because it's underwater, but if you use this linear option here, it provides kind of a gradient. For the outline, I have, sorry, let me move this over. Oh boy. I have made the outline um, line width fairly small, like three or four pixels, okay? Here we go. Let's give it a try. I'm going to click and drag. Oh, that's not bad at all. And we'll click and drag the next one. Cool. Let's make, we can make that a little bit bigger. There we go. Underwater. Now let's do some sand. Uh, so now I'm going to use another rectangle and I'm going to change the, actually, I made this mistake before. See how my bottom rectangle is still selected? If I change the color, it's going to change the color of that rectangle. So for some reason, I like to do that click on the select tool and then start a new rectangle. I'm going to change this color to like look for something that's kind of sandy, I guess. I might just go to color. Oh yeah, that one right there. That looks kind of sandy to me. You can adjust that color right here. Let's try this. I'm going to make a sandy bottom here. Cool. I'll make it a little bit bigger so I can uh, drag it over to the other side. And you know what? Watch this. I'm going to use my select tool. I'm going to click on that sandy rectangle and on my keyboard, I'm going to press control C to copy it and control V to paste it. So I made a duplicate of it. So it's about the exact same size. Okay. Now you could then, once you add this, you can go play around with like the spray paint brush if you want to add some texture and stuff here that'd be a cool idea and you know what later on um i'm gonna add like some little i don't know crayfish or crabs or rocks or something into the sand there just to make it a little more interesting but right now let's focus on the big stuff okay now i'm gonna have two fish having a conversation so i need to, my two fish so i'm gonna go to clip art and I'm going to go to find clip art and I'm going to type in fish. And I like this guy here. I think he's nice. Okay. Whoa, gigantic. Let's make him smaller. Maybe like that size. And you know what I'm going to do? While he's selected here, I'm going to, on my keyboard, hold down control and press C to copy it and control V to make a duplicate of it. Now I'm gonna take this guy and uh, put him up here in about the same location. You can always move him later. Now let's find the friend he is talking to. He's kind of transparent. You can see the sand line through him. Maybe I'll end up moving him up here, we'll see. Okay, now let's go find the other fish. I want to find a fish that's facing the other direction. Well, this guy. Sweet. No! I accidentally, I had that other guy selected still, and I pasted a new one over it, and it replaced it. Word to the wise. So now that I have both my fish, I can take this guy, hold down Control, press C to copy him, Control V to paste him. So now I have one over here. And then I'll have to use my selecting tool over here on the rainbow fish, control C, control V to make a duplicate of them again. Not perfect, um, but good enough for now. All right, resizing. Okay, now these two fish are gonna be talking to each other. My whole punchline is that there's gonna be a storm <laughs> up here and one of them's gonna be saying, hmm, I didn't know it could storm underwater and then there's this guy down here is going to be saying, there's a lot you don't know. And there's going to be a gigantic monster sneaking up behind him. Okay. Something like that. So let's go find my storm clouds. 
Uh, those are in clip art as well. You could search up images too and just copy and paste them in there. But I am going to, let's find clouds. Yeah, let's do these. Ooh, uh, I like this one here. It's like storming underwater. I'm going to control C. I'm going to make a, like three or four of those and kind of overlay them. Oh, it's so stormy and raining underwater. It's crazy. And you know what? I'm going to hold down shift and see if I can select multiple images. I can. Let's see this. Control C for copy and control V to paste it and check this out. Whoa, sweet. Okay, so I'm uh, moving on my way. I'm getting there. So now they're underwater. There's this storm underwater. And um, yeah, we'll get there. So now what I'm going to do is find a word bubble. So in Google, I have searched up word bubble clip art and found this one right here. Perfect. Right click, control, or right click, copy image. You know what? I'm actually going to save that image as... In my pictures as word bubble it's saved in my pictures right there and I'll save it so now when I'm in sketch <clears throat> excuse me I'm now gonna go to clip art and instead of selecting that word bubble from the clip art menu I'm gonna hit load your own image there it is. Had to click out it and go to pictures. Ha! <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Boom! Huge word bubble and it's transparent. How sweet is that? I'll put that right there. Now I'm going to go into, um, now I'm going to go find a word bubble that's facing the other direction. Sweet, there it goes. So I found another transparent one. Apparently because it wasn't the black and white or the checkerboard background. Here we go. I'm gonna shrink it. This guy is gonna be saying, oh, you're gonna have to make it smaller. Or else we can move, certainly move these storm clouds over uh, or we can move our fish over, right? Choose our text. Um, I like Chewy, it's just a default one. Watch this. Hmm, huh. I didn't know it could storm underwater. I don't think you'd have a question mark on that. And now what I'm going to do is shrink that down. Drag it into my word bubble. Okay. And now check this out. Hmm, I didn't know it could storm underwater. And then this guy is going to be saying, well, there's a lot you don't know. And there's going to be a giant monster over here behind the uh, yellow and white fish. Let's go find that. A uh, monster. I found this cool Godzilla. Now, <clears throat> I googled Godzilla clip art and some of them end up having a transparent background and some of them don't, even though they say they do. So it might take a little bit of trial and error where you like copy an image, paste it in a sketch and the background might be there, it might not. But for me, I don't want there to be a background because I want to have the blue water background. So I'm going to right click on this guy, copy image, come over to sketch and control V on my keyboard. Oh, sweet. All right, let's drag this guy and make him fit in the frame. So I want to hold down shift so I keep the proportions correct as I drag and resize him. Make him like that or something. That looks kind of cool. It's kind of funny. And then um, this guy over here, I'm going to add a new text box. And he's going to be, let's see, the fill is going to be that. Um, Chewy, yeah. He's going to be saying, there's a lot you don't, what's your name this for fish? There's a lot you don't know. Um, what's your name? Randy. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know, Randy. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, poor Randy. 
fit here. And you know what? I like the size of that. So we're actually going to increase the size of the word bubble. Don't know, Randy. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so there we are. Um, now what I could do is and, and use some other clip art stuff to um, stuff onto the sand down here. Some other creatures and stuff, and I'm just going to use some clip art for that. So we'll go in and uh, see what we can find. Okay, so long story short, you can add tons of different things. You can just have fun with it, and we're making a comic book page. So here's what you should do. Enjoy playing around with clip art and Sketch.io. Find some images you want online, and feel free to add them. Sometimes you have to go back and redo it, but uh, overall, it's a really fun thing to do, and you can create some really cool artwork. Good luck. See ya.